Across the globe, World Food Day is a time when people take action against hunger, particularly organizations concerned with food security. This year, Antigua and Barbuda's focus, according to Agriculture Minister the Honorable Arthur Nibs, is analyzing how food and agriculture should evolve in order to face the impacts of climate change. Erratic weather patterns and the increase of pests and disease outbreaks are affecting agricultural productivity and therefore undermining global food security. As usual, the poorest and the most hungry people suffer the most. 80% of them live in rural areas. They earn their living and feed their families from the very sector that bears the brunt of the impacts. Climate change, he adds, is already undermining efforts to end hunger and all forms of malnutrition. But who is being most affected? Almost 160 million children under the age of five are stunted. There is growing international recognition that the agricultural sectors can play a transformative role in addressing the impacts of climate change. World Food Day 2016 is an opportunity to identify how best to respond to these challenges. All efforts should then be made to identify ways of best responding to this worldwide crisis. Actions to promote resilience in agriculture cut across the user distinction between adaptation and mitigation. In fact, as we promote adaptation, we also mitigate the effects of climate change. In the COP21 last December in Paris, most countries included agriculture in their nationally determined contributions. In November, these countries will gather for COP22 in Morocco to put these pledges into motion. By working together, we can seize the transformative potential of the agricultural sectors. World Food Day observances help to increase the understanding of problems and solutions in the drive to end hunger around the world. This is Aisha Caleb reporting for ABS News.